That feels a little bit different, right? Come on, let's continue to worship this morning. invite you right now to uh, raise your hands, close your eyes, not out of religion, but just out of a choice to posture your heart, to open your heart up to God, because I, I just feel like God's moving in healing right now. We just sang, He's healing every heart, He's mending every heart. I just feel like God's moving, He's just doing something. So let's just, let's just hit pause for a sec. Lord, just move in our midst right now, Lord. Come in healing. Come in your power. Speak to us. Words of life. Words of healing. Words that put courage in our spirits. Lord, make a way for us where there doesn't seem to be a way. Work in our lives. Work in our hearts. Work in our situations today, Lord. We open our hearts to you. Because even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop working. Even when I don't see it, you're working. 
Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop working. Even when I don't see it, even when I don't feel it, you never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop working. Even when I don't see it, even when I don't feel it, you never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop working. Cause even when I don't feel it, you're working. Even when I way maker, isn't he? Is, he? yeah. God, I thank you that you never sleep. God, you <laughs> never, you're never at rest. You never just stop hearing from us. Yeah, God, true. you never stop working for us. Right. God, I thank you that you love us. God, and whether we've been following you for four minutes or 40 years, God, that you've got something for us. God, that you want to talk to us this morning. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, Thank you Jesus. Hey, why don't we, because it's Hearing from God month, Thank we're a month where we're just wanting to just give our ears to God, close our eyes, still our hearts, open our ears, and expect that God would say something to us. Why don't you do that? Why don't you all, everyone in, in the building, lift your hands and close your eyes, at open home. your ears at home. Yeah. Do this as well. Expect that God, over the course of this next 45 minutes, is just going to drop truth into your soul. He's going to give direction to your next steps. He's going to put courage to take those next steps. He's going to whisper and I love you. I adore you. You are forgiven. You are made new. He's going to drop incredible pictures of of what the future is going to be like for you. God, I pray that right now in the presence of God, wherever, wherever people are listening, God, they would hear your word. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Amen. Jesus. Thank you. Amen. God. Hey, how good is it to be at church? To be so with the church? Good. So good. Welcome, everybody who's watching online. Yeah, welcome. It's great to so see good. you. Well, it's great for you to see us. Yes. But it'll be good to be able to see you as well. Why don't you drop us a chat yeah. in the chat and, uh, yep. and send us a text or, a, or an email. email. Send us an email to hello at c 3 rabinacom We'd love to hear from you. Let you us would. know if you've got anything you'd like us to be praying for yeah. as well. Because church is not a spectator yeah. sport. No, it's not. No. It can church. be. It can be. But it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be. You need yeah. to be on the field. Yeah. You need to be in a relationship. You need to get yeah. in a community. So if you're watching and you're, you're yeah. isolated, 
do this in community. Do this with us. Yes. And, uh, and we're going to build relationship with you. So reach out. Yes. And who are we? Who are we? We oh, yeah, always we forget to do this. <laughs> they need subtitles. I remembered today. Well, you're Kate. I'm, Kate. I'm Josh. Yes. Uh, we're some of the team here. Yes. And uh, we, we, love, we love this place. We love these people. Yes. yes. It's a good place to be. It is. Good people to be with. It is. Give yourselves a round of yes. applause. Hey, we uh, how about you have a seat? Yes. How about you have a seat? Now, we had a good day yesterday. Oh, yes. Yesterday we gathered here with some of our leaders and had a uh, yeah, vision and planning team. day for 2021. It was really good. Oh, it was good. We have got some good things in store this year. Even though we don't know what kind of year we're going to have, oh, totally. we know that God has got good things in store for us. Absolutely. And, and our track record last year was pretty off the charts. Our team oh, yeah. are adaptable yeah. and resilient yeah. and faith-filled yes. and courageous. Yeah. So whatever 2021 yeah. brings at us, yeah. we've got this. Yes, we it's do. Good. We're Ooh. more than conquerors we are. in Christ Jesus. Yes. It is good. We're, yeah, it's we're good. in for a good year. So, yeah. so thanks, to, so thanks to, so much yeah. to all of our key team who were there yesterday. Yeah. Um, that, was a, that was fun. Who, yeah. had, who had fun? You had fun? Well, They're I guess here. you're all kind of They're like, here. Yeah. They're all busy. They're all busy doing stuff. <laughs> Our busy team. <laughs> it's good. Hey, um, good. I think we should pray. We and should. I, I love the scripture that I'm going to use when we come to mm. our giving moment later in yeah. the service. Um, in Romans 8, 31 mm. and 32. I, I love this scripture. It has, has filled me with so much faith over the years. It says, and so what can we say about all of this? And now all of this is everything up to this point in Romans 8 verse 31. So all of Romans, read it. It's brilliant. Um, but or in, join Josh's connect group. <laughs> <Yeah>. Sorry. <laughs> That's right. Big call for invites. Uh, and Romans 8 31, 32 says, so what can we say about all this? If God is for us, then really, who can be against us? Yeah. If God's for us, yeah. who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son, but freely gave us, gave him up for us all. How would he not also freely, yeah. along with him, give us all things? Doesn't that do your heart good? Doesn't that mean we should pray? Yeah. Imagine if God is capable of anything. That's good. Fixing any relationship, any right. financial situation, right. anything. Right. Shouldn't we pray? Right. Totally. Should we pray? We should pray. Let's Let's jump to our feet. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. If God is for us, who can be against us? I want you to believe that a little bit more today. Thank you, Father. I want you to believe that a little bit more in your heart today and act like that today. I want you to pray like that today. I want you to pray like you've got the ear of of God. God is even giving you his ear. He's even listening to you and he's ready to act. What are you going to ask of him? Thank you, Jesus. Come on, let's pray. Let's stir our hearts. Thank you, you Father. If you pray in tongues, pray in tongues, pray in English. Thank you, Jesus. Just want you to engage your heart today. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank Thank you, you, God. You're a God of miracles. Thank you, Father, that there's no situation that is beyond your control. Thank you, Father. We lift up people in our worlds who need you. God, health situations that need to be healed, Lord God. God, moments where your presence is required, your peace and your comfort. God, we call on you this morning. Would you fill the lives of these people that are in our hearts, Lord God? Thank you, Jesus. Thank Thank you, you, Jesus. God, God, we're praying for incredible life change, incredible transformation. God, profound miracles. My God, we know that you are absolutely capable and willing and mighty to save. And we believe for these things in Jesus' name. Yes, thank you, Father. God, do this. And God, we pray, Lord Jesus, Jesus, that this year would be a year full of not just life transformation in the physical, but in the spiritual. God, that we would see people saved week after week. God, that we would see our friends come to know the goodness of God. That we would see them grow, that we would see them thrive and come alive in the presence. Thank you, God. My God, bless our friends. Bless this church with new life with new people, yes, God, God, with new friends and family knowing you. Thank you, in Father. Jesus name. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord thank God. You, God, that you hear thank our you, prayers. Jesus. God, thank oh, you that so you are with you. us on the journey. Yeah. God, thank you that yeah, while you Jesus. may not answer our prayers immediately, no, God, yeah. that you are still working in us. Yeah, absolutely. God, that you thank are you building Jesus. our perseverance and yes. our endurance, and yes. we will not 
Give up Thank believing you, in you Jesus. and having faith in you, Lord God, that you are a good God. Yeah, Thank you, Father. Come Thank on, you, put your Jesus. Hands together for God this yes, morning. God. Thank you so much, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you so much. It's so good to know that we have the ear of God. Yes. And I, it's just, that's profound. Yes. That's so profound. Yes. That at any moment of every day, you have the ear of God waiting for you. He's not too busy. He's not asleep. Yeah. It's good. I can't get over the it fact that good. he doesn't sleep, though. That makes me tired. <laughs> I'd rather it him than me. Absolutely. Have a seat, everybody. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. So hey, our youth camp. Yes. It's starting this Welcome morning. Welcome to all our youth this morning. You guys have so started. So good. So good to see you camp. all here. You are going to have a, a brilliant time. Yes. So welcome to yes. anyone who's here for the first time. Any youth here for the first time on a Sunday morning that usually come Friday nights. We want to welcome you guys. Yeah. You guys are amazing. You Can't are. wait to get to know you. Yeah. This is good. There are going to be some life-changing moments this there are. weekend. Oh, man. I remember some of, the, some of yeah. the youth camps that I did when I went to youth camps and when I, went, when I ran youth camps. And there were there's some significant moments in my life and some of the youth around me. You, got, you are in for a treat. Yes. And so I, I'd love us to put a, a, a huge round of applause, big cheer for all of our youth team yes, who have Sarah, put this together. Monique, everybody. You guys are You guys are amazing. To see the work yes. that you put in uh, all through the week yeah. and uh, the love that you have yeah. for these young people who are becoming yeah. world changers. Yeah. And uh, so f- I, I believe the, the focus of this is disciples, of, di- of, of knowing who you are in Christ and growing as a learner, yeah. following the master. It's going to be incredible. Yeah. It's going to be good. It's great. Yeah, absolutely. Cool. I think we should give. We should give. Yeah. Would you like to lead us in I would time? love to lead, lead us in this time. <laughs> Thanks, babe. Um, so Romans 8, verse 31 and 32. I, I don't know how many times this has just changed my prayer moments. When I've come to God with a concern... And then he's reminded me of this scripture. See, unless we're in scripture, unless we've got scripture in us, then how will we know how to, how to know the sound of what God sounds like? Because we're, we're entering into an eternal conversation, a conversation that's gone on since the beginning, before time itself, between God. And, and as God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit has been talking, and, and, and since time began, God's given us his word what he's basically he's given us a manuscript he's he's taken minutes of his key and important things that we need to know and he's written it down in the bible as treasure for us to be able to catch us up to the meetings that have gone before us how good is that that god's done this you're not going in blind to any meetings because you've got this 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 wonderful conversation that you get to catch yourself up on and so when in moments i remember going to god in moments where i didn't feel prepared for a test at school I, I didn't feel like I was, I was ready for an assignment. I had what it took. I, I, didn't, realize, I didn't think I was ready to preach at chapel in grade nine um, when, when I did my first message, uh, when I f- preached my first message in, gra- in chapel in grade nine. I, like I didn't feel like I was, I was ready to start a new job or I didn't really, I didn't really ready. I, I wasn't sure of whether God was gonna provide for me when I had bills to pay and I didn't have a job to pay those bills or I, I, I was looking for contract work and I wasn't sure where it was going to come from and so going to God with concerns and worries and having God just go hey let's just go back again and again to Romans 8 31 and 32 he can build your life upon this thing if if God's for us and and I just felt like God time and time again going do you think I'm for you? Are you sure I'm for you? How much do you believe that I am for you? Then who can be against you? Where's this concern coming from? It's coming from you just not really fully understanding or fully placing your life on this belief that I'm for you. And I will do all, I can do all things. I'm going to give you this. I'm going to provide for you. And time and time again, God's provided for us. God's looked after us. God's given us the words to speak, the wisdom to act upon, the 
the money to be able to be generous with and live. God does that. How good is our Heavenly Father? He looks after us. And then the incredible truth of the fact that if God didn't spare His most prized possession, if our knowing God was so crucial to God that He said, look, I'm going to take what Whatever it takes, I'm going to spare no expense. I'm going to give extravagantly and I'm going to give you everything you need so that you could know me and you could become who you meant to be in me. How good is that? How good and how generous and how caring is God that He would do that? How good is that He, he would give us everything His ear, His wisdom, His love. His Son, and that He would provide for us day after day. I love this. And as we come to this moment of generosity, it's us going, God, just as you've spared no expense in, in causing me to, to, want to, to want to know you, to be able to have a clear path to know you, I'm going to also give so that other people can know you as well. I'm going to give in such a way that opens doorways, that makes clear paths, that sets other people, my friends and my family up to know how good God is. I love that. That's what we're doing. That's how we're focusing our heart this morning. And so I want us to close our eyes as we come to give our tithes and our offerings to God right now. And as you prepare to give, let me remind you this. You're being just like God. You're just giving. and You're generous. Because God was generous to you first. My God, bless these wonderful people. God, I thank you that time and time again, you just come through for us. And if you're for us, who can be against us? Thank you, Jesus. God bless these wonderful people as they give. Amen. Awesome. Have you been listening to God's word over this month? And listening to his voice? It's so good. I think in the next couple of weeks. Well, next month. Next month is going to be... February is going to be an amazing month. Yeah, absolutely. 7th of February, we're going to have our dream blessing service. So if God can do anything... (laughs) Okay, this is good. Yeah. Yeah. What will you have on your dream list? Bring it to church that day and we'll pray with you. That's good. Bless your dreams this year. He's ready for that. I love this. Yeah. We've set this up, set this up beautifully. Mm. We've got hearing from God yeah. because we want we want you to know that you're. We want you to get dreams that yeah. are not just your dreams, but God's dreams. I want to win the lotto. Is that is that on your list? God can do anything. No, that's like what you shouldn't. That's what you shouldn't do. Shouldn't that's a bad do. example, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought you know. It's good. That's a good example. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I have family members that would put that on there. Yeah, okay, that's good. There are people out there that would put that on there. <laughs> anyway, let's move on. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, we've got Dream Blessing yes. Service on the 7th. Yep. We've got our Vision Sunday on the 14th. On the 14th. Yep. Oh, that is yep. going to be good. Yep. And then the rest, of the, the rest of the month just yep. unpacking what God has yep. been talking to our, our pastoral yep. team, our leaders about. Yep. And then we just launch into the rest of the year and who knows what happens. Oh, I know. We should get a playground in there somewhere too. We will. No, we will. I mean, it's with the, the, with the builder. With the builder. We're waiting on the final plans. How good will that be? Playground in the cafe. So good. So good. What good. else has been happening? What else has been happening? Australia Day is coming up too. Yeah. I think we've got some free ice like, cream to like give away. projects you were talking about. Projects. Oh, yes. We were talking about this yesterday. How many things have happened around church in the past 12 months? So many. Yeah. That you may have missed. We've got new toilets. Yep. We did. Anyone realise that? We got new toilets. <laughs> we got new paint. We got new carpet. Yeah. We've got all of this stuff for productions, for yeah. online church, totally. the new lighting. We've got all these all these amazing people watching online. Yes. It's been good. It's been God, good. Has, God been has been good. good to our church. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Set us up for a good year. Yeah. Well, hey, awesome. I'm so looking forward to Pastor Don's message today. Yeah, it's going to be great continuing our series on hearing from God. So let's, let's stand, let's prep our hearts through this next song. Let's worship God together. This next song is a relatively new song. It's called Change. Anybody need a change in their life? Anyone want a change in their life? 
Well, this, this song is like an invitation to see what God sees. This song is like an invitation to put God's words in our mouth, words of faith, words of belief. It's not the sort of song you can kind of sing like medium. It's not, it's not the sort of song that you can kind of sing average. It's the sort of song that really beckons you to give it everything you got. Um, disclaimer, there's a few words in it. So you might struggle a little bit. I know I'm probably going to struggle a little bit. We're in this together. That's okay. But as much as possible, come on, let's, let's put the words of God in our mouth this morning. Let's prophesy into this atmosphere that change is coming, that God is coming, that things are going to change. Can we do that together this morning? Come on. You are the one. Yeah. Cause you are the one who called for the dead man to rise. You mix the dirt and open the eyes of the blind. Reach for the woman and lifted her out of the dust. You came from heaven, show us the wonder of love. Here in your power, daring to dream. Come on. Give us the faith, faith to believe. Come on. Because we can see a change coming. Our God is here to save. We can see a change coming. We can see a change coming. The church will take her place. We can see a change coming. Revival's on its way. Come on. Come on, you're the voice. Because you are the voice that stands in the storm and the sea. You are the king who kneels down and washes our feet. Demons will flee when you speak to the dead of the night. Jesus, the name that conquers the darkness with light. Show us our power, we're ready to dream. see a change coming our God is here to say we can see a change coming the streets are filled with praise we can see a change coming a church will take a place we can see a change coming revival's on its way we can see a change coming our God is here to say we can see a change coming. The streets are filled with grace. We can see a change coming. The church will take a place. We can see a change coming. It's coming, we believe a change. It's coming, lift up a shout of praise. Cause we can see a change coming. Our God is here to save. We can see a change coming. The streets are filled with praise. We can see a change coming. The 
church will take a place We can see a change coming Revival's on its way We can see a change coming Our God is here to save We can see a change coming The streets are filled with praise We can see a change coming the church will take her place we can see a change come in oh we can see a change come in we can see a change come in the streets are praise we can see a change come in the church will take her place we can see a change coming revival's on its way revival's on its way revival's on its way revival's on its way we believe it oh yeah oh yeah there's a change coming <laughs> there's a change coming there's a change coming God, I thank you for change. It's coming to our lives. God, I thank you. God, I thank you for change. It's coming into our lives. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you. God, I thank you for the prophetic voice that resonates inside of our hearts. God, I thank you for your word that speaks deeply to us. God, I thank you. God, I thank you that you are the God who calls that which is not as though it were. God, you put faith in our hearts. Father, I thank you. God, I thank you. God, I thank you. God, I thank you. So here, here this morning, whatever time it is you're participating in this service, why don't you say this? Here I am, Lord. I'm listening. Here I am, Lord. I'm listening. What do you got to say? Thank you, Father. Amen. Mm, beautiful. Wonderful. Would you have a seat, ladies and gentlemen? Big shout out to the youth. Great to have you young people here with us today. Hope you have the most incredible time. I know, as Pastor Josh said, that uh, youth camps are just, just a great opportunity to hear from God. And I, I, I know there's, I have so many friends whose lives, whose lives are pivoted in, at a youth camp when they heard from God they were going this way and God said no this is this is direction they had this plan but God said no that's the plan for you so so you have an opportunity at positioning yourself to be able to hear from God and God's spirit will speak into your soul incredibly may, may he speak so clearly and may it resonate deep into your heart you're set up for an incredible future and and as Pastor Josh said thank you to the incredible team to the volunteers putting their effort and energy into uh, this opportunity for young people to have time with, with God. It's such a precious thing. Thank you. Thank you. Don't underestimate your activity here. This is, this is awesome. You know, ne never underestimate what you do in God's house because it's about someone's life being transformed, a moment when God's spirit will, will be activated in someone's soul. I was, I was reading the scriptures this morning and Paul talked about the, the, the church being encouraged when they heard the story of the, his transformation. You know, God will do something in someone's life as a result of, as a result of uh, making live streaming happening at home. Thank you to the data team, the productions team, the sound team. It's like, like you guys, you guys are amazing. Thank you. Thank you, so appreciate you. Have you noticed, have you noticed this? That when people get old, people get old and, and everyone gets old if they live long enough. Have you noticed when people get old, they either go gracious or grumpy? They go gracious or grumpy? Gracious or grumpy? When we were first married, and, and we, we'd heard from God, uh, the, we, we thought it was a good idea for us to not wait until January uh, to, as, as planned to get married. We, sa we said, no, let's get, married in, let's get married in August. And so we set about the plans to get married in August, and, and one of the challenges were where you're going to live, because, because you really, you're, you're a single student. I was a theological student, and Adrian was needing to give up her teaching to be able to move from Wilmington down to Adelaide to, to, be, to be with me. And... Uh, and we go, how are we going to live on this $45 a week? And, and we go, I, I, 
because because rent at that time, I know I know this is ancient of days. Can you imagine rent being forty-five dollars a week to rent to rent a house? And uh, my professor said, Don, really, this is not a good idea. And um, we go, no, this is, this is a good idea. <laughs> this is a good idea. Oh, no, I can't wait. I want to get married. It's like, yeah. Uh, and, and such a beautiful young lady. Why, why not? And it's, we're, we're in love. And, and, and Adrian says, yeah, that's a good idea. And the family said, yeah, that's a good idea. So, so, so we said about praying. and said, God, God, you're going to provide us a house. And, and he, he did. He, he did. Uh, uh, this beautiful, gracious, elderly lady called Miss Prince, and she was really a princess. She, she, she uh, had moved into a retirement home and moved out of the out of the ha- half the house that she was sharing with with this with this other lady, and they were both both spinsters, both both ladies who had served in World War Two on the, as nurses, and they had seen incredible atrocities. They'd uh, they'd cared cared for. Cared for guys, uh, and and many of them had died, and it's like like that that had that had a whole bunch of trauma. But this lady was just beautiful, 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 and she said, "You can have this for twenty dollars a week. Would that be too much, dear?" I go, go. So so uh, we moved into this little cottage and in in Glenelg and. and and, and it was just beautiful. And the, the back half, the back half, there was Miss, Miss Grumpy Pants, and, and she was oh, so grumpy. But, um, yeah, Miss Cook, yes, yes, yes. Uh, anyway, but that's, that's another story. That's another story. So my question for you is, is, is do people call you grumpy or gracious? Are, are, you, are you grumpy or gracious? If you look at yourself in the mirror, are you grumpy or gracious? What do people, what does your significant others say about you? What does your parents say about you? Are you grumpy or gracious? That's a good question to have around the lunch table. And you, maybe, if you're game, if you're game. But, and, and, but here's, here's the thing, because what's inside is what comes out. So, so if you're too grumpy, you've got to change what's inside. That, that, that's, that's how you fix it. That, that's, you f- fix, fix, fix what's inside. And, and, let, and let God do that. And, and I, I, I know that when I'm not well, when I wasn't well and, and, and going into burnout, that the, one of the things that happened was I got grumpier and grumpier and grumpier and shorter and shorter and shorter and curter and curter and curter. And, 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 but God, God can heal that. God can change. God can change what's inside of your heart if you allow him to wash your heart and to, uh, and to, and to flow inside, inside, of your, inside, of your, inside of your spirit. So how do, how do we hear from God's voice? How do we hear God's voice? Well, there's, there's three ways we hear from God principally. One is the scriptures. And as Pastor Joshua was preaching this morning and during the offering message, he preached to you from Romans 8. And he talked about how he heard from God and he hears from God every time he reads that scripture and God speaks into his spirit. So the question, question you ought to ask yourself is this, am I, am I reading the scriptures so I can hear from God? Because if you're not reading it, you're probably not going to hear from him in the scriptures. Is that right? Does that make sense? Like, pretty, pretty obvious. Uh, so second one is he speaks to you through the inner voice of the Spirit. And, and, that, and that can be even when you're not reading the scriptures, even when you're not positioning yourself, or, um, you, you're, you're just going about your business and, God, and there's this voice that says, Don, <laughs> hello. <laughs> And it's like, oh, I knew God was speaking to me. It could be in a dream. And he does that. He speaks in dreams. Yeah, he speaks in dreams. He puts, he puts visions into your heart. Uh, he puts ideas into your spirit, which, which is pretty cool. But the third way, and, and, and I, I think this is the majority of the time that God speaks, you know, there's a few times I've been in worship and, and, and it's, like, it's like, wow, I just had this thought from God and, and it's just changed the course of, changed the course of, of my life. There's the inner voice of the Spirit. There's the scriptural, scriptural affirmation. Yes, this, this is the correct thing and this is the right thing, but majority of the time God speaks is through people. Have you noticed that? That it's, that it's, that it's God speaks through people. His, his voice his voice comes through the voice of other people. And, and that, that's what this is about. That's what being in God's house is about. So, so you can position yourself to, to, to hear from God. 
That's what being in a, in, in a time when you can sit and pray and, and read the scriptures together with others, we, we call them small groups or connect groups, that's a time when God speaks through other people. And, and, and in that time of fellowship, you go, wow, I, I, I've, I've heard from God. And, it might, and that's the time when you'll probably mostly hear a reprimand or, 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 a, or a bit of a nudge from the Holy Spirit. And you've got to, you really got to check this out and sort this out and get this, get this, get this sorted in your life. And so, so are you around other people to hear God's voice and, 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 and give yourself a, a high five and say, yeah, I'm, I'm around because I'm, I'm here with other people today. Like, well done. Yeah, give yourself a round of applause. You know, put your hands together and go, yeah, this is a good, good thing. You're here to hear from God. You're here to hear from God. And so, so, so you're really, really silly. You're really silly if you don't read your scriptures and you're really silly if you don't, you don't turn up to be around other people. Because you're diminishing the opportunities to hear from God. Yeah? I'm, I'm, but, but you're wise. And, 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 and it's just such a beautiful thing. When, when you're with someone and, and God's spirit speaks into your spirit and, and you get this sense, well, this is what God says. And we've just celebrated Christmas. And one of the beautiful stories of Christmas is Mary, the pregnant Mary, going to visit her, her cousin. Cousin? Yes, cousin. John's mother relation not quite sure exactly the relationship but and and as and as mary visits elizabeth elizabeth starts prophesying over this young mum <laughs> it's just two pregnant mums getting together but the spirit of god starts speaking <laughs> to this older one and brings a word of encouragement into into this young mum that settles a heart I, uh, and puts a confidence and a, and a and a safeness inside of a speak in, inside inside of a heart. So, so as I'm as I'm uh, jumping into this message, it's 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 obvious that that you, you hear from God in these three ways. Yes. Yeah. And the but the th- thing the thing I want to say to you today is is you 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 have a voice. And God's Spirit can speak through you. You have a voice and God's Spirit can speak through you. And you might be the only one with an opportunity to bring God's voice to someone. Because there's people you know that others don't know. And what's coming out of your lips? Is it, is it the word of grace or the word of grumpiness? We asked it right at the beginning. And, and what's inside is what comes out. So... You, I want to encourage you to speak God's word. Um, how, how to get equipped, and, and, and let's let's jump into jump into a couple of scriptures and give you some basis to this, and you can ponder these and 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 let the Spirit of God speak to you through these scriptures. In Acts chapter two, and and here's, here's Peter explaining what it had just happened, and and I love love this explanation. This is that that the prophet Joel has spoken about, says Peter. These men are not drunk, but God says God says I, in the last days I will pour out my Spirit upon all people. This is an explanation of what happens when someone gets the Holy Spirit on the inside of them. I will pour out my spirit upon all people. Your sons and your daughters will prophesy. Your sons and your daughters will prophesy. Why don't you say this if you've got a son or a daughter? My son and a daughter will prophesy. That's a great scripture to let resonate inside of your heart. My sons and my daughters will prophesy. As, as a dad, I, I, I tell you, it does your heart good when, when, you, when you hear your kids prophesy <laughs> your young men will see visions and your old men will dream dreams so young men you're going to see visions when God's spirit comes upon you that's what happens Muhammad Ali <laughs> where is he is he's up the back here did you know Muhammad Ali was here this morning he's helping I, I heard he say I am the greatest yeah you are Isaac God's spirit will come upon you and you'll see visions. Your old men will dream dreams. It ain't, old, it, ain't, it, ain't, it ain't too late to dream a dream. It ain't too late to dream a dream. Dream a dream. You know, you, there, there's, that means there's things that are going to happen that have not happened yet. That's what that is. It ain't over. Not someone in the room say, it ain't over. <laughs> it ain't over. <laughs> it ain't too late. It ain't too late. Oh my good, my goodness! In those days, I'll pour out my spirit, even on my servants, both men and women. And 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 th- this is this is 
All of us. All of us. All of us. And they will prophesy. Young men, old men, young women, old women, little ones, big ones. <laughs> they will prophesy. In other words, they will speak what they see God doing. And they will call that which is not as though it were. And they will speak it into being. How, how, how does this happen? Get filled with the Spirit. Get filled with the Spirit. Come again and go, God, fill me again. Fill me again. Because what's inside is what comes out. What's, what's the effect of this message? Oh, I'm running out of time here. What, the, effect, the effect of the prophetic word. And, and, and 1 Corinthians 14.3, write this one down also and look at this and, 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 and ponder it. It says, but when someone prophesies, when someone... And, and you, could, you could read that and say, and say but, but, but when I prophesy, but when I prophesy, when I prophesy, when I prophesy, it's, it's a great thing to prophesy over your children, great thing to prophesy over your friends. Well, speak the word of God, the Lord. When I, when I prophesy, I speak to encourage people. What? I, what? I speak to encourage people to build them up, say to build them up, to bring them comfort. And so, is, is what's coming out of my lips encouraging, building up, or comforting? Am I pulling down, tearing apart, and, and disturbing? <laughs> you know, what's coming out of my lips? And, 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 and here, here, it's simple. It's really simple. Just get God inside. Because <laughs> when God's inside, that's what comes out. <laughs> you fill a bottle of water with water, what comes out? Water. What did you say? Wine. It was wine. <laughs> Stop it. And, and just, I, I would love time to go into this in more detail, but, but to, to encourage someone is, 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 far more, is far more than just thanking someone. Yesterday, when our leaders were together, Pastor Adrian uh, led, led the leaders as in preparing, preparing for their vision, for our vision time to hear from God. She, she led us in, in communion. And, and I could say as a word of encouragement, Adrian, thank you. You did a great job. And it's like, and you go, yeah, oh, that's a round of applause. It's like, yeah, it's, it's really, really good. Really good. But, 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 but to encourage her is to, to put courage in her spirit that goes, yeah, I could do that again. And, 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 and what, she, what she did, what she did was, what she did, you do it again, do it again. And what she, what she did was, was uh, brought us into the, into the presence of God. She, she outlined the scriptures. And, and, and so, and so as, we, as we ate the bread, it was like we knew, we knew that we, the 10 of us sitting around the table were called by God to come up with a voice that was in unity together. That, that she, she put unity in our spirit as, as she led us in that. You did a wonderful thing. You, 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 put, you, you put a unity in the team and set us, set us up for, for a, great, a great time of planning. It's, it's, it's like, you know, encouragement is not what kills you, what doesn't kill you is going to make you stronger. <laughs> it's like, it's, you know, come on, it's, 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 it's expanding on, on, on how, how it applied and, and encouraging them to go again. To build them up is to inspire them. We, we need inspirers. Inspire us. The, the challenge of today is, be, is to be an inspirer of people. You, you, as parents, you inspire young people to, oh, the places you will go. Yeah. 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 You read that too many times to kids and they, and they do it. <laughs> they believe they can go anywhere and do anything. And I was like, my goodness, you know, it's like, let's try astrophysics. Why not? Yeah. Beautiful. <sighs> My Jesus. And comfort. 
and comfort makes people feel warm inside as if they're wrapped in a blanket. My words, my words are, are words that say to people, your sins are forgiven, not you're a bad person. <laughs> they feel warm, included and loved and drawn closer and drawn closer, drawn closer. So, so what's my call today? My call today is find your voice. Find your voice. Find the voice that's inside of you. Romans 12, 6 says, God's marvelous grace imparts to each one of us varying gifts and ministries. They are uniquely ours. So if God has given you the grace gift of prophecy, you must activate your gift using the proportion of faith you have to prophesy. Come on, prophets, prophesy. Stir up the gift of prophecy. We need to hear the voice of the Lord and, and it encourages our hearts. Uh, 2 Timothy 1, 6 and 7 says this. Um, Paul says to Timothy, Timothy, I'm writing to encourage you to fan into flame, to rekindle the fire of the spiritual gift that God has imparted you when I laid my hands upon you. For God will never give you the spirit of fear, but the Holy Spirit who gives you mighty power and love and self-control. And self-control has an on switch, not just an off switch. So turn it on when you need to turn it on. Because people need to hear your voice. How will they hear if you don't? Come on, prophesy, prophesy, prophesy. And the outcome, the outcome of this is, is, that, is that you'll help people to call that which is not as it were. You'll be, you'll be like Elijah. This is what the scripture means when it says, I have made you the father of many nations. He is our example and father. For in God's presence, he believed that God could raise the dead and call into being the things that don't even exist yet. The things that don't even exist yet. Your future doesn't exist. So call it into being. Call it into being. 2021 lies before you. Your future lies before you. What's God got for you? Come on, call it into being. Start speaking it. Prophesy. And the Spirit of God comes upon you. You shall prophesy. You'll see dreams. Dream dreams and see visions. Why don't we stand to our feet just a moment and pray. God, I thank you. God, I thank you for the Holy Spirit that fills us. So Father, Father, I'm praying your people to be filled again with the Holy Spirit. Father, in people's lounges, that the Holy Spirit would come and fill and fill them and fill the room. God, that there would be a mighty rushing wind, that there'd be tongues of fire that would descend. The people again would be baptized with your Holy Spirit and with fire. God, I'm asking you to open the windows of heaven and you pour out your Holy Spirit. So much blessing that people cannot contain it. Father, fill your people again. Let the voice of heaven be heard on earth, in people's homes, in people's lounges, in people's, oh God, in people's places of work and employment. Father, in schools. Father, let your voice be heard. God, fill your people with the Holy Spirit. Come on, why don't you pray right now? God, I thank you. God, I thank you. Fill your people. Come on, position yourself. Position yourself to hear from God, to be filled again with the Holy Spirit. Fill us, God. Fill us, God, with your Holy Spirit. God, I thank you for the Holy Spirit. I thank you for the Holy Spirit. This needs a bit of, a bit of a strength behind it in terms of, God, I thank you for the Holy Spirit. I thank you for your power that flows here today. God, I thank you for your voice that speaks into our spirits. Father, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, God, God, come. God, come. Fill us again. Fill us again. Fill us again with your Holy Spirit and fire. Baptize us afresh with your Holy Spirit. Fill your people, Lord. Fill your people. 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 Father, thank you. Oh, thank you, Lord. Oh, fill us again, Lord. Hey. Are we filled with the Holy Spirit? Be filled with the Holy Spirit. Be filled with God. Oh, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. 
yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. So a question for you. How can I fan into flame the Holy Spirit? How can I fan into flame the Holy Spirit in my life? Be in God's house, yeah. Think about this during the week. Who to visit with? Who to pray with? Do I need to start attending a connect group? Do I need to be in church more often? Do I need to get together with some people? You know, some, a chat online can fan into flame the Holy Spirit. I do that regularly with, with Bob in Los Angeles and it fans into flame the Holy Spirit. I do that regularly with Pastor Keith online and, and it fans into flame the Holy Spirit in my life as he prays with me and I feel God travel down the internet and it, and it touches my heart. Who can I connect with that's going to fan into flame the Holy Spirit in my life? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Thank you, Father. You know, if you need to pray this prayer about getting your life back into relationship with God, and would you pray this with me? Say, Dear God in heaven, I thank you for Jesus, that he died on the cross for me. Wash me clean and make me new. And I thank you, God, that you make me your child and part of your family. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. <laughs> let me dream dreams. Come on, let me dream dreams. Let me see visions. Let me speak your word. <laughs> You're going to find yourself in opportunities this week whether it's going to be someone you're going to speak with and you'll find words coming out of your lips because you prayed that prayer. There's opportunities coming. Looking forward to hearing the stories. Please share them with us. Thanks, Pastor Josh and Kate. Thank you, church. Thank you, Pastor Don. That was awesome. Well done. That was awesome. Ah, oh, that was so good. How, how, how incredible is it that God would want us to speak on behalf of Him to change yeah. the world? Yeah. That's profound as well. Yeah. So good. Well, um, yeah. Wrap up the service. <laughs> well, hey, uh, have, have a fantastic week this week. Yeah. Youth, you are in for a brilliant next few days. What, yeah. why, don't, yeah. why don't we just spend a, a, like 30 seconds right now. I want you to, everyone, yeah, all the youth, just close your eyes and lift your hands to God. I want everyone else just to reach out your hand towards Thank them. You, and we're going to pray. If you're online, Thank why don't you, you pray Lord. for our young people that Thank are here Father. and going to this camp. God, we pray in Jesus' name God, that this would, would they be encounter you? an encounter. Thank you, Jesus. God, that this would transform their lives. God. That this would set them up for incredible destiny. Yes, Lord. My God, I pray for those who, who don't yet know you to, to know how you, dearly you love them. Yes. God, I pray for seeds of dreams of destiny you, to be placed in their hearts. But I, oh God, I pray you, that you would just woo them. You'd call them. You'd, you, you'd draw them close to yourself yes, in, over these next few days. Yes, in Lord. Jesus' name, amen. 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 Awesome. 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 Good. Well, hey, yeah. have, have a great week yeah. online. Yeah. It is so good to have, us, have you Thank with you, us. Thank you, Pastor Max, for hosting you guys. Definitely. Eduardo, who else has been watching? Yuna, Matt and Kerry. Awesome. See you guys. Hey guys. Thanks for joining See us. See you, everybody.